our Malaysian government implemented the Movement Control Order as the COVID-19 pandemic worsened in March 2020. School pupils had to stay at home and teachers had to start online teaching. Under the leadership of Datuk Dr. Ma Hang Soon, the Deputy Minister of Education Office has launched Easy Learning Web. Pupils are able to continue learning from home through the Easy Learning Facebook page and YouTube channel. Easy Learning Web is an interactive learning platform. Pupils are welcome to interact with the teachers during lessons via the chat room section. Real learning can only take place when there is an active two-way communication. We continue to improve ourselves to keep abreast with the latest trend in education. Let's venture into the world of learning together with Easy Learning Web. Easy Learning Web welcomes you. Very sorry, technical error. I did not on my mic. So, a very good morning, a very good evening, sorry. Okay, a very good evening to teachers, pupils, and viewers of Easy Learning Web. Uh, welcome to our third Sparks in the Dark Learn English Online series. Do you still remember me? I was the speaker for the last lesson. So, I'm Madam Woon from SJKC Connect 2, the moderator of the day. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank all of the students for completing the task given and I hope you will keep your hard work going and follow us in every lesson, all right? So, before we start our lesson today, as usual, here are some reminders for all of you. Since the lesson will be ongoing for an hour, so we want all of you to, first of all, pay attention throughout the lesson. And you may take notes on a paper or in a book using a pencil. Of course, you may respond to questions by typing in the chat box or in the comment section. Then, please comment politely and positively so that we can have a productive lesson. Please avoid using negative words that may hurt teachers or someone's feelings. Use earphones and adjust video resolution to 720p for better audio and viewing experience. Last but not least, you have to fill in the attendance form before leaving our class. Please remember to complete the task, yeah? Huh. Now, if you haven't liked the Easy Learning Web Facebook page, please like now. Just click on the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You will get notification for our upcoming lesson. Now, let me first introduce the speaker of the day. So, he is Mr. Dio Wun Chun from SJKC Payming, Pengerang, Johor. He is a TESOL degree holder for primary education and graduated with first class honor in year 2019. He has three years of teaching experiences and in the school, he is a senior assistant for co-curricular affairs and also the head of English panel. Meanwhile, he is also very active in the field of Google education. In year 2020, he has achieved both Google Certified Educator Level 1 and Level 2 certificates. Then in year 2022, which means this year, he has been officially certified as one of the Google Certified Trainers. It's indeed an honor to have him with us today. Today, we are going to have an adventure with Mr. Teo. Are you ready? So without further ado, let's welcome Mr. Teo. Thank you, Madam Moon. Hi, Hello, Mr. Teo. Yeah, thank you. Hello, boys and girls. I hope you are doing fine today. So it's Thursday. All right. So we are going to have an adventure time with me um, for an hour, perhaps. All right. Without further ado, let's start. So 
First of all, I would like to introduce you all about what are we learning, what are we going to learn today. So we are learning to, number one, read the blog post and answer the comprehension questions. Number two, to identify the facts and opinion from the blog post. And number three, write a blog post on the outdoor activity that we experience. All right, let's start the lesson. Wow, there are so many outdoor activities available. I'm not so sure which are the activities that you have done before. Perhaps you can write down in the comment section if you have any special outdoor activity that you have done before and you would like to share with us. So from here, we can see there are a lot of activities like what I did before I did. I've never done merry-go-round before, but I always wish to try. Mm, spring horse is interesting. And also, mm, I always like to do canoeing, but perhaps I will do it um, after the school holidays, perhaps, during the school holidays. I think I'm going to do it shortly. All right, so do share with me what are the outdoor activities that you have done before and it is a very special activity for you all right so we are going to read a blog so for your information blog is something that is something like a diary and you write something on the blog to record all right to record what you have written perhaps you can write down what you have done before what uh, how was your school day and also, but in this easy learning blog, uh, there are some events or adventures that the protagonist, which is Kelvin, had experienced before. So he would like to share with you all in his blog. All right. So let's start reading the blog. All right. It's the 1st January 2022. So that means that Kelvin has written this on this date. All right. Hi, my name is Kelvin. Welcome to my blog. I live in Bungarang. It's a fantastic town with beautiful landscape. We have got the sea and lots of animals. Have you ever fed an ostrich? Bungarang is the ideal place for travel. I'm going to write about all the cool adventures I have. I hope you enjoy my blog. So there are some vocabularies here. So we have landscape. Landscape means that it is referring to a large area of land. All right, I think all of you must know what is an ostrich. If you don't know, perhaps you can go and, you know, Google it up. What is an ostrich if you don't know what is it? Right. So it's on 22nd January 2022. Today, I went to the Sanru Coast Adventure Park with my family to celebrate my brother's birthday. We went there in my father's new car. The water park features more than 20 wet and dry rides, slides and attractions. Swinging ship is a replica pirate ship that arches up to 180 degrees in both directions. It's really fast and the experience was thrilling. All right. So uh, Kevin had went, uh, gone to the Saru Coast Adventure Park before. So uh, they are 20 wet and dry rides, slides and attractions. And he also introduced one of the games, which is called Swinging Ship. It's a replica pirate ship. Replica means that it's like a duplicated stuff. It's, a, it's look like the same, but it is not the that thing. La. That's called that, like an exact copy of that, of something. All right. It's a pirate ship that arches up to 180 degrees. That means that, let's say uh, a swinging ship looks like this. If we go up to 180 degrees, it will go be like this, right? You know, imagine you're sitting on here and you'll be, be like this, then this. Ah, that's the way. Lah. All right, that must be very thrilling, right? But must be very scary for me. Lah. All right. I think I I think I tried this before. It is quite fun. So if you have time by any chance, you go to Disaru and check it out. I think it's quite um, it's a thrilling experience and then 
I did it twice if I'm mistaken. All right, next. Wow, what is this? It looks like a camp, but it it is not. It looks like camping, but it is more um, clean. All right, let's read the text. It's on 12 February 2022. I've never been glamping before, so I tried it this month. And it's similar to camping, but it is more comfortable. I went to see Horizon Resorts with my classmates. There were a lot of igloo domes with views of the blue-green ocean, the sun in our eyes. The scenery was truly amazing. So it's like a camping, a kind of camping, but it is more uh, luxurious. It is more comfortable. You know, it looks like a hotel room, but it's under a tent as well. All right. So uh, it, um, Kevin went to see Horizon Resort with his classmates. And then they, the tents are like igloo domes. You know igloo domes? Um, perhaps you can go to Google it out what is an igloo, if you don't know about it. All right. Dom is a shape like a one half of a ball. If you know a ball, half of it. So it's called dome. So from the um from the glamping side, uh, Kevin witnessed the views of two things. Number one is the blue green ocean, and number two is the sun. Okay, perhaps uh, he has seen the sunrise and sunfall as well. All right, so uh, he was amazed by the scenery. Okay, so this is a waterfall right from the picture. All right, it's on 26 March 2022. It's my 12th birthday and uh, my family and I were at Quarter Tinky Waterfalls. I wanted to do something special, so we had a picnic there. This waterfall cascades down from a height of 34 meters into three natural swimming pools. I wished to swim there, but I was disallowed to do so. However, I was content because we had a quality time and our bonds were strengthened. All right. So it was Kevin's birthday and they went to Kotatiki Waterfalls because Kevin wanted to do something special during his birthday. So they had a picnic over there. And then Kevin introduced a little bit about the waterfalls and he was disallowed to swim there. Perhaps it was too dangerous for him. All right. We don't know. Only he knows. All right. However, he was content. Content means that uh, he is happy with that. He is satisfied because they had a quality time. Quality time means that they spend the time together to do something meaningful. And then uh, their bonds were strengthened. That means that their relationship had become better uh, after the uh, this kind of uh, birthday trip. All right. I think it's going to about the end. All right, I believe that you have demonst you have understand what uh, the blog is has written about. So without further ado, we shall start with a couple game to test your understanding based on the blog. All right, so I'm going to share with you a link, uh, a couple link, so all of you may join. Yeah, the link has been pasted into the uh, in the comment section thanks to the uh, teacher technician all right so boys and girls without further ado join the game now and we are going to start the game shortly hurry up
Right, we have Sunning here. Come on, we should have more pupils. Uh, one more minute and I shall proceed to the next lesson. Oh, sorry, the, the couple game, sorry. Shenry, come on, come on, do join us. We should have more. All right, I'm counting to ten. From ten, and then after that, I shall start the game. All right, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One. All right, let's start. All right, get ready. You should be able to read the questions on your device, so no worries. You don't need to uh, read the question from my screen. Okay, question one. Where did Kevin post his cool experiences? This is easy, right? Okay, nine answers. I think everyone has answered. Oh no! Should it be Facebook on Instagram? Alright, it's a blog, right? I think I introduced it in the very beginning of the lesson. Blog is something that where you write something to record your daily events. What your experiences in your life, you can write it down and then you post it to share it to your readers. All right, so next question. Wait, uh, I think I, okay, everyone can read the question. Okay, all right, Davis ranked top. Okay, way to go, guys. Next question Where does Kevin live? This should be easy as ABC. It's somewhere, it's somewhere, not started with letter B, it's somewhere in the state, which is not, uh, which spelling is not started with letter B. All right, wow. Eight responses. I think someone is not answering. Okay, the answer is Pengarang. It's located in Johor, all right? If you have if you have heard of Visaru, so it is located at Kota Tinggi, uh, specifically in Pengerang, right? All right, okay. Chongjie is ranked number one now. Next, how did can we go to Visaru Adventure Park? We have five responses now. Six. Come on, guys. This should be easy if you pay attention. All right, by car. All right, should it be by bus though? All right, it's okay. Good try. Okay. Wow. Chong Jay has a streak with three correct answers in the row. Okay, next question. What is swinging shift? I think I introduced it just now. All right. Think about it. What is it? Uh, something which is look like a real one, but it is not. Is it? Wow. What is the answer? Three, two, one. Okay. The answer is a replica pirate ship. Okay. You still remember replica means that something which is uh, an exact copy of something right so which it is not a real one all right okay all right keep going keep going kevin had never been what before oh there is a spoiler oh my goodness 
man. This is spoiler. It's that so easy. This one. All right, we have ten answers. Okay, glamping, right? Glamping is a kind of uh, more uh, camping, which is more luxurious and more comfortable. Okay, I hope you still remember about it. All right. Next, what did the glamping tan look like? Mm, I think I hinted you on this. It looked like a word. Right, it's an igloo dome. So remember what is an igloo dome? It's called half half of a ball. All right, it looks like half of a ball. All right. So should it be a ball? How can you stay in a ball? It's a sphere, right? It's in the sphere. Right. There is no ground for you to move on. All right, it's okay. Right. All right. The ranking is looks consistent, yeah? Keep going, keep going. Okay. Number seven. What could Kevin see from the glamping tan? I think I have introduced this as well. I think I explained it thoroughly. There are two things. So choose the best answer. Ah, why? I never expected that this is the toughest question among all. All right, there are two things, right? Number one is the blue green ocean, and number two is the sun. All right, the ranking must have some changes now. Okay, looks like. Hmm. Okay, no much changes. It's okay. All right, last question. Why did Kevin go to Kota Tinggi Waterfall? Choose the best answer, yeah, boys and girls. Choose the best answer. If that answer only answers half of it, so don't choose it. Choose something which suits the best. Describe the best. Right? Ah, okay, alright. Better. Ah. Not only birthday, right? But do something special on his birthday. Okay, so here is the final ranking. We have Yoon ranked number one, which got seven out of eight questions right, and Chong Jae, six out of eight questions right, and Dave, six out of eight questions right. Well done, all boys and girls. I think you guys have done a very good job. All right. So uh, I think I should share the screen. Just wait a moment. All right, so I'm the next up. I'm going to introduce you a uh, opinion versus fact. All right, what is an opinion? What is a fact? So here is the pre-lesson task that I have assigned to you all in April, in end of April, after Madam Woon's class. So the question is based on the video. What is the main differences between facts and opinions? So here are the responses that I've received, all right? I receive about mm, roughly 83 responses and 51 of the children chosen option number two, all right? The rest is at 12, 10, 10. So what is the correct answer? Okay, I'm going to reveal the answer. If you are in the Google Classroom and you have answered the, uh, this question, you should have received the answer now. All right, so it is option two. A fact is a statement that can be proven true or false, whereas an opinion is an expression of a person's feelings that cannot be proven. All right, I'm going to explain about this further. So, um, yeah, okay, next slide, please. All right, so, uh, so what is a fact? A fact is based on observation and research. It's something that can be proven true or false. For example, it's raining now. How can you 
uh, prove that whether it's raining, you go out and you observe the weather, whether it's raining or not. So it is called a fact. Opinion is like something about someone's feeling. How you feel, how you think is opinion. It can be judgmental, it can be subjective, and it's not necessary to be right. For example, I like raining. Sometimes you like rain, uh, raining, but others do not. So that uh, it cannot be a fact. It, it is not some sort of universal truth. So it cannot be a fact. It can only be an opinion. All right. So opinion cannot be proven true or false. So let's look at the example over here. I think it is going to rain. You think it is going to rain, but probably it might not rain. It might rain or it might not rain. For example, uh, in Pengerang this morning, the weather was sunny. It's so hot. But just like uh, 30 minutes ago, um, it was raining. It was raining cats and dogs. So that we cannot expect it, right? So your, uh, your smart guess might not be uh, accurate sometimes, right? So facts uh, can be proven. For example, this is a strawberry flavored ice cream. How can you prove whether it is strawberry flavored? You have it, you taste it, you smell it, you look at the color of it. So these are the things that the ways to prove whether it is a fact or opinion. Whereas opinion, uh, for example, like strawberry ice cream is the tastiest. All right. Everyone must not think that, uh, um, all right, they must have other thoughts about other flavored ice cream. Is the tastiest. For example, chocolate flavor ice cream, vanilla, Oreo, you know, even like uh, I think there's a latest one which is called the Mo. I'm, I'm, no, I'm not going to mention about it. No, no advertisement, no witch receipt. I'm not going to advertise it. All right. So, we they are uh, a tendency that other people might hold other opinions, right? So, it is called opinions because. Uh, their feelings, that what they think differ from one another. So facts is can be confirmed via research or evidence. It's about the place where you get your information or facts is a source. Okay, so uh, whenever, especially when you're doing academic writing, make sure you only uh, obtain credible source. Okay, don't get something like uh, facebook.com or whatsapp which always disseminate the false news, right? So do only look up the news from the reliable source. Okay, opinions from experts can also be factual sometimes. For example, uh, the doctors recently discovered that uh, COVID-19 is airborne. So uh, opinions may not have evidence to support. And then you can, based on these clues, you can identify whether it's an opinion like I feel, I think, in my opinion, uh, it is wonderful, it is terrible, it's thrilling, I'm happy, for example. All right. All right. Before I move on to the uh, Blue Cat game, uh, I'm going to show you uh, an example based on the blog written by Kelvin. All right. So uh, here is it. Okay. So um, let's get. Uh, Let's get a sentence. Okay, this one. These waterfalls cascades down from a height of 34 meters into three natural swimming pools. So it is something that can be proven or not. It is, is it about someone's feelings or opinions? So can you try to type in the comment section whether this sentence is a fact or opinion? Okay, this sentence. These waterfall cascades down from a height of 34 meters into three natural swimming pools. You can write down in the comment section whether it is a fact or opinion to test your understanding before we start the game. Right? All right, Davinia has responded. Fact. It is it's a fact. All right, very good. So, it, it can be proven through research or scientific investigation. Yeah, good, Alexandra. Yeah, your answer is right. All right, so in contrast, the statement like, I was content because we had a quality time and our bonds were strengthened. 
So this is referring to having feelings and opinions. So it is called an opinion instead of fact. All right, I hope you understand what I have explained. So uh, I'm going to share the uh, screen for the blue kit. Perhaps the teacher technician can share the link in advance so that they can join this. All right, the link is up. Thank you. All right, boys and girls, so here you go. We are going to play a book track game on identifying facts and opinions. All right, two minutes from now, join the game as soon as possible. Yeah, see you guys. years now all right keep going keep going we should have more all right one more minute and i'm going to start the game so make it quick i think that uh if you are late, I think you still can join the game if you are on the halfway of the game. Alright, we have 12 days, so I shall start the game now. So, have fun!
Two more minutes. Two more minutes. Suddenly become only one player. All right. Not in the game anymore. Okay. Yeah, I think due to the technical error. All right. Why so sudden? Yeah, like everyone left the game in a sudden. Um. Alright, please do write in the comment section whether you want to try the game again, uh, try the game another time. Because I think all of you all have been kicked out. <laughs> I've been kicked out as sudden, right? I'm not so sure about it. So let me know if you wanted to replay the game so that I can arrange it. But if not, I, I can just proceed with the next activity. Alright, it's fine. You want to play so sudden. Try the game another time. All right. I think I can post this uh, Blue Kick game on GC later. So if you wanted to try the game on your own, so I will paste the uh, game on Google Classroom so that you can play it on your own. All right. Yeah, thank you for your understanding. All right. Okay, so um boys and girls, I believe that you have seen this mind map before if you have done the pre-lesson task too. So, uh, first of all, I would like to introduce you about um, what is a mind map. What is a mind map? Mind map is a non-linear uh, form of writing. It is a useful way to organize your what you think and what you want to include in, for example, let's say for your writing and etc. to make it more in an organized manner. So, if you have if a lack of ideas on what to write for your essay, if you often have this kind of problems, 
if you often uh, miss out some important points, I will suggest you to write, to construct a mind map before you proceed with the writing. So that that will help you a lot. So um, I think I have received a lot of mind maps from you all. Thank you for your effort. So you will you be using that mind map for the upcoming task, which is a post lesson task later. All right, I'll introduce you after this. So um, we are going to write about the most memorable outdoor activity. If you have, if you still remember about it, if you still remember, we are going to write the most memorable outdoor activity. All right. So I am here to share some uh, good mind maps for your references. If you have not done with the pre lesson task, so you still have time to do it if you wanted to. All right, the first of all is from Li Zining. So uh, I think it's a she. She shared with me about a school trip of hers, which is about ostrich farm, I assume. Ostrich farm. With her schoolmates, teachers, and headmistress on 20th April. Oh, that was recent. Okay, so what she did, uh, step on an ostrich egg egg and fed the ostriches all right so over the moon all right she used over the moon that means that she was happy and the trip was awesome all right i think this is a good mind map looks simple but precise okay next we have mr charles so he went to cameron highland with his family in september 2021 it's a rajus hill strawberry farm so he picked up some strawberries and cut strawberries from the strawberry farm. And he thinks that the strawberries are not too sweet. Is it a good thing for you? I believe that, you know, kids like sweet stuff. If the strawberries are not so, too sweet, perhaps, you know, you might not be happy for that. But I love it. All right. I felt happy. You are happy. You were happy for that. All right, it's okay as long as you're happy. All right, next we have Tok Ti Sheng. Tok Ti Sheng. So I think it's a she. Uh, went to uh, to went to went swimming in Coral Reef at Adventure Cove Water Park with family. Uh, at the last last end of term holiday, so um. She got her snorkel and life vest and then swam in a man-made coral reef with all sorts of marine creatures. Marine creatures is like uh is referring to the underwater animals, right? So it was exhilarating and exciting. Wow, so bombastic, right? The vocabulary. Good job. All right. But she was worried that the string rays will attack. Okay, I hope you're still safe. You're still alive. Since you can Submit the mind map. I hope, I think that you're still um, safe and healthy. All right. So, uh, the Viva went to a fun fair, if I'm mistaken. Uh, so, she went to uh, have a dance party and go karting. Wow. I wish I could join you. Okay. With your best friend, Davinia on the 1st of january 2022 to count down is it to count down 2022 all right and then she enjoyed the carnival very much and it was a cool event for her the next one is from the best friend it's from the best friend of la viva is davinia all right the same event what a coincidence right it's really coincidence all right so uh davinia shared her experience to Super Park Malaysia with her friend, the Viva, and her mother on last Saturday. Why the date they look so different? Huh? This one last Saturday, and then that one is like 1st of uh, January 1st. Good, right? Interesting. So um, she did flying fox and cup racing. Okay, she felt that it was tired. She was tired, but it was fun and she was true okay aviana so aviana went snorkeling at 
Pulau Sipadan Sabah with her parents and uh, siblings in 2015. Wow, that was long time ago. I'm glad that you, you have a good memory and you can still remember all this. If I were you, I should have forgotten. <laughs> all right. So uh, he did uh, snorkel swimming and snorkel diving, right? You know, the interesting part is uh, she did some explanation of what are the activities. Perhaps she, she might be afraid that I do not know. So she did some explanation. All right, good effort. And then uh, uh, she felt nervous, but it was a fantastic experience for her. Good job. All right, caught the end. Uh, right, uh, she did a ride on new scooter. Wow. But we have new rules, huh? Okay, scooter shouldn't uh, be, uh, you know, you, you shouldn't ride a scooter on the road. All right, um, with father and brother on last Sunday outside of the house, and then she took turn on the scooters and then rode around on the scooters up and down on the street. It was fun and exciting. She hoped that uh, she can do it more often. All right, good job, good effort. So here are my overall comments after reading all of your mind maps. Okay, number one, be careful when you're choosing the activity. It should be the most memorable outdoor activity. Some of you sent me when shopping. Some of you sent me play badminton. It should be not something that you do it in a routine manner. That means that if there is the activity that you do it every day, every week, every month, that's shouldn't be your most memorable outdoor activity. Lah. Okay, next up, this activity should be done in past so that you should use past stand for all verbs in your work. Okay, check all the verbs that you have written in your mind map and the blog later. All right, and then you should put more adjective and details to, you know, so that I can imagine I myself in your situation so I can understand your outdoor activity better. All right, I'm going to introduce, uh, to show you an example about a blog post. So this is what we're going to write uh, after this lesson, all right, based on the mind map that you have done. All right, so let's start. Hi, my name is Adam. Welcome to my blog. I've been to the beach many times, but I wanted to do something special for my birthday. Last school holidays, my family and I went swimming with dolphins at resorts with Sentosa. I love dolphins. They are so beautiful and friendly. First, we learned about dolphins with an instructor. Then we went out in the boat. We wore life jackets and then swam with dolphins for 30 minutes. It was fantastic. I feel nervous, but happy at the same time. It was an amazing adventure. Right. So based on the blog post, what should you include in your blog post? Number one, you should have the date. The date when you write the blog post and then you do an opening you welcome the readers to your blog and then you introduce why you went there and then when did you go there who did you go with and what was your most memorable outdoor activity where was it what did you do there how did you feel what did you think Okay, so you so these are the elements that you have written in your mind map actually just convert it you just transfer the information into a linear writing which is a blog post that's it it's just that simple so i will post i'll show this example in the google Classroom as well so later you will uh, have this for your reference all right so what is the post lesson task based on the mind map that you have completed in pre-lesson task two write a blog post on the most memorable outdoor activity you had done in the template given uh, everyone will receive a google doc with the example that i've shown in the previous slide so you just write after the line you just type in uh, type your blog after the line all right so turn in your blog post via google classroom so i think that's all from me thank you for attention and i look forward to your blog post in google classroom later thank you boys and girls see you guys
Hello, it's me again. So thank you, Mr. Theo. Thank you for bringing us for such an exciting and fun adventure trip. I hope all of you learned something from this lesson. I hope you enjoyed the Kahoot game and also the Phuket game. For those who did not join just now, you may join uh, later. Okay, Mr. Theo promised that you will post it in Google Classroom to enjoy the game. So, dear students, you remember to complete the task, the post task given. And the next lesson will be on 30th of June. Please remember to uh, attend our lesson. And don't leave first. Attendance form will be provided now. And do remember to key in your details so that all your data will be recorded and we will send you a certificate as appreciation. So... Before leaving, remember to fill in the attendance form and you can just do this by clicking the link given or perhaps you can scan this QR code. All right, did you get the link? I hope you do. So thank you everyone and see you on 30th of June. Goodbye.